Oops. Fight you in here. Almost got all of my ions set. All right. Shields. They've got a missile launcher. That's not good. Ah, we didn't take down as much as I was hoping we would take down there. But, those are firing at the same time. Yeah, I think we can at least take this guy down, for the most part. We've only got two of our ions up, but it's enough. Honestly, I think we're going to finish this battle because it's going really fast. <laughs> Alright. Well, that wasn't perfect. Definitely not perfect. But we have uh, just shown that we can take out a ship with four shields. Which is really good. That is really good. At this point, um, I think I will probably want to either upgrade engines or shields. Because we're getting very close to the uh, the end of these systems. There's not much left to be doing. Alright, so we've got uh, pirates and we've got rocks. Um, Considering the capabilities that I've got, I'm kind of wondering if I should go to the rock sector and see if I can't manage to find um, that thing I found before and see if I can keep the ship running long enough to uh, to take them down hmm yeah you know I'm gonna do that because I've also got that hull repair and if I can manage to uh, get through that battle properly good things could happen the rock people are a powerful and proud race it's not unheard of to have peaceful journey through their lands but don't count on it you know I am honestly really surprised um, at how well this ship is doing. <laughs> this is not a normal ship for me at all. This is very strange for me. I feel a little awkward with it. Alright, um... Well, I could jump along here and just fly out that way. I think I might actually do that. Alright, we find a disabled rock transport floating near the beacon. You consider stripping it of useful parts, but you're uncertain why it's there in the first place. This has got to be an ambush, but I don't care. Let's strip it. A rock patrol ship jumps out while you are salvaging the ship. They message you. Filthy pirates, prepare to die. You doubt explaining your mission <laughs> will convince them of your need. But we did get a lot of uh, scrap out of it, which is nice. That's quite nice. I'm gonna go with only one, because I think we have the capability to take down their shields with all this heavy ion. Or ion blasts, anyway. Wait for it. Wait, there we go. Give me some ion. It almost worked. We should be able to take down the rest before he gets it back up. There we go. This guy's pretty done for. And he's really only got lasers and ions, so I'm not very worried about this guy. I think I will retarget at least that one so I can take down some of his lasers. And <laughs> now he's just got an ion. This guy is ridiculously screwed right now. <laughs> Look at all that red. This is very nice. I like this ship. I didn't know what to think of this ship at first, but this is actually really nice. Alright. Oh, two drone parts. That is totally worth it. The rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem to be willing to buy their lives. Yeah, that two drone parts is totally worth it. We're taking that. We are most certainly taking that. And at the at this point, I think we're going to start working on shields. It's going to take us a while to uh, actually be able to do it, but if we can get a third shield, that could really help us out. 
Let's see here. One fuel for four missiles. You arrive at a spaceport and are immediately hailed by another ship with a once in a lifetime deal. I don't really need missiles, but if I run across one of those things that uh, wants missiles for scrap, this could actually be good. And I have so much extra fuel. Let's do it. Of course, I could also run across something that gives me a missile launcher, and that would be even better. So why not? It's not much at this beacon, just a few abandoned depots stripped clean. All right, well, rebels are here, but we are moving quite far out of their range. We receive a message meant to uh, degrade you as aliens. You have expect an attack, but it seems to have come from a small civilian shuttle. Okay. Well, that's something. Seems to be by a sun. Hmm. Uh, do I want to go there? Because I might be able to find that... No, you know what? I don't want to do it. I would rather actually try to get to the end. This ship is actually pretty good, so let's, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving and see what we can do. You encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. It's a rock, a rock crew member explains that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda that keep the populace in check and that they want no part of it. Tell them their god sent them here to join your crew. Promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. I don't think they would believe the uh, whole God thing because they don't like propaganda. But let's uh, let's promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. Your promises gain their attention and they agree to serve with you for a while. Nice! We got a rock! That is very good. I'm going to put you in there and I'm going to put the rock in here. While this guy definitely... Okay, he doesn't have any combat mastery. Probably you got it all. Yes, he did. Um, while this guy may have had some combat mastery, this guy is definitely better at combat just because of his uh, 150 health. I love rock crew members. They are very, very heavily equipped for battle. Um, they're immune to fire as well. Movement speed is halved. Who cares? And health is increased to 150. That's just really nice. That is a very nice crew member to have for uh, any borders. I could go back here and do some more, but I'm going to go up through here instead and then push on down through here. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. You see a Zoltan merchant and ask about his wares. He responds, sorry, but it took years to gain their trust. I can't be seen communicating with you. I hope you understand. And he cuts communications. That's too bad. We have a rock on board. I was hoping that would, uh help us out. We've got a store over there. We don't have anything to uh, to really barter with currently, so we're gonna keep moving around. You recognize the ship is a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers laborers for cheap. We are going to attack this guy and sadly we will not be accepting any slaves from him because we need uh, as much as we can get before we get to that um, store and also holy frickin hell what the I've never seen one of these before that looks like a double pike beam that looks ridiculously strong this might have been an unwise decision on my part but um, I'm hoping for good things I really am almost almost and Go. So he's shooting uh, what looks like two lasers. Very nice. Is this going to penetrate my shields? Oh god. Oh, it totally penetrated my. Holy crap, that thing is strong. Oh, wow. At the very least, we've got uh, plenty left for that. Wow, that is a really strong weapon. I'm impressed. 
I really am. I'm gonna refocus one of these over here, so hopefully we can take this down. I think he's gonna get off another shot before I manage to take it, though. Yeah. Ugh. That thing is ridiculously powerful. Let's get you down here. We'll just be the uh, repair tech. Take one of our slaves! No. No, we will not take one of your slaves. We have uh, other things that we need. Surrender is not an option. Now that their weapon is uh, pretty much screwed over, I don't think we'll have any more problems from these guys. I'm hoping that we're going to get some drone parts. That would be really nice. Missiles. We got a lot of scrap out of it. We are definitely going to use at least one hull repair. I don't like how low our hull is at the moment. Okay, well, we're not doing too bad, and we can hit up this store. Hmm. Kind of want to hit this and then head around this way. And that'll take us to the exit. What do we have here? Pirate marking ship. Anything is possible for the right price. We can uh, have them scout the sector. We can have them uh, delay the rebels. Um, we are going to fight them. They are going to beam aboard our ship, but I honestly do not care. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to kill them. Kill them all. Oh my god, they've got some serious weapons on this thing. <laughs> oh, and they're about to beam aboard, and yeah, this is... This might have been a slight mistake. That's okay. Ooh, they got a couple of rocks. And they're about to hit my doors down. Alright, I am going to need, not you, but you to be here. Because you're going to have to take over. Ooh, that's a big missile. Also, I am paying attention to the wrong thing right now. There we go. Come on, take them down. Two more. We'll refocus on their weapons. I would like to put you in here and switch you out. Okay, that's not... not good at all. You are running out of health. I'm gonna put some hull repair out there. We are not going to allow our ship to be destroyed. However, fashion is not doing so great and we need to move our guys around. What the hell? Uh, which guy was I trying to move? I guess Maloney. That's who I want to get out of there and switch you back. Okay, they're they're out of the ship. Let's send our rock up to uh, work on that fire. Sweet, charging FTL. That is what I don't care about. Alright, my rock friend. We need our weapons very badly. Hmm. Offering drone parts, scrap, and fuel. Honestly, because I don't think we're going to be... Uh, if they get their shield back, we're not going to be able to do anything to them. How is their shield doing? We just hit it. We're not going to accept it. Keep going. Let's hope that we can... hit. Oh my god, no, no, no! Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Ooh, we got drone parts and lots of scrap. Good. Very good. That ended up being a-okay. Get all these guys 
healing up and working on things, it's all good. Um, I don't believe Finn should be working that. Put you up here. And Maloney, I want you back in here. Definitely need a little bit of repairs. Alright, um, what else do I want going on? I think we'll upgrade the ship a bit. Put some into shields. And get some more power. There we go. Now that does kind of ruin the fact that we were going to go to this store, but um, honestly, I like the fact that I've got three shields now. We cross paths with an NG rock ship returning from a rare diplomatic mission. Equally surprising, the captain responds to your hails and agrees to mutual trade. Wow, another heavy ion. That's uh, that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna take these and fix one. We got a breach missile, but really expensive, and we don't really need it. Hmm, long-range scanners would give us 15, and then we could buy this and fix a little bit more. <clears throat> Definitely don't want to sell the uh, medbot, that would be silly. I don't really want to sell the anti-ship drone, because having two around could really help out later on. You know, I think we're just going to leave it where it is. It is what it is. And there's apparently a store down there. That's cool. Well, we're gonna hit this, hit the distress beacon, and get the hell out of here. Hope for good luck. The burnt out hull of a rock mine lair drifts by. Behind the wreck drifts a live mine. An automated drone that drills into ship hulls before exploding. It locks onto your ship's signature and heads your way. I don't know if we're going to be able to maneuver away from it. We don't have, like, super great engines. We've got good engines, but not super great. Ship's turning circle proves too wide, and the mine bites down into the hull. You can hear it now, chewing through the armor. Send someone out there to defuse it. Your crew member dons a spacesuit and exits the airlock. They make quick work of the basic device and return inside to the relief of all around. The mine makes good scrap pickings too, 49 scrap. Wow, we uh, got out of that pretty unscathed. I am quite surprised. Um, I think we're going to work on pulling our engines up because if we can avoid shots, that would be quite helpful. Check out what we got at the Distress Beacon. Ooh. We find the source of the Distress Call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Let's send in the rock crew because he's immune to fire. A rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses a fire suppressant uh, as possible into as much fire depressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fires start to die down. 